Hello everyone, we are going to go over how we planted our 13 fruit trees in this video. Um, we actually got our trees from the Michigan Conservation Department which saved us some money. They run the sale in the spring and the fall um, and we're actually going to do an entire video dedicated to that because there's a lot of really good information that you can get about that program. Um, so stay tuned, follow us and watch for that video if you're looking for more information on that. Now. Once we got our trees, they come as bare root trees. And what you wanna do is you wanna soak your trees before you plant them. So we separated all of our trees and then we put them into uh, buckets and coolers full of water. So the roots are nice and wet before planting. Now, once that was done, we began to dig our holes and you want your hole to be double the size of the root. So whatever your root is, you want it to be two times the size of the width. And we actually cheated because we had the tractor and we used the bucket, which gave us a nice big hole so the roots will have lots of room to spread out as they grow. Now you also want to make sure that you dig your hole deep enough to completely cover the root and part of the tree up until where the graft union is. Now the graft union is gonna be like a little nub on the side of the tree. And you want it to be about a half inch above the soil line or almost even with the soil line. And a quick tip, as you can see in the video, we ran a two by four from one side of the hole to the next. That way we know exactly where our soil line is gonna be so we can position the tree correctly. Now, as we stated before, we got 13 trees in, um, and we actually are getting two more. Our pear trees we didn't get from the conservation department just because they didn't have two different types that would cross-pollinate each other, so we do have pear trees on order, so we will still have to dig two more holes. Now, with the 13 trees, it did, with the tractor, take us almost all day to get them planted. Um, but we did it slowly and we did it cautiously just to make sure that we got everything correct because we don't wanna to have to replant them. We hope that they grow and they thrive. Um, so we took our time and we made sure that we did everything we could to plant them correctly. And even though we used the tractor for a big portion, which was digging the main hole, we still did use the shovel for a lot of what we did. Um, that's how we filled them in for the most part. And then we did use the tractor at the end and kind of pushed some dirt back around the wider part of the hole, but we were cautious not to get too close to the trees. We did encounter a lot of rocks while doing this. Um, so you'll periodically see throughout the video us pausing to pull rocks out. We didn't want to leave anything in the holes that could potentially affect the root growth after we buried them. Now while we were planting, as you can see, our dog was having fun wandering around being out in the field with us. She's actually about 16 years old, so she's still doing pretty good for an old dog getting around. When we started, we would do one hole at a time. We would put the tree in, we would fill, and then we would level, and then we would move on. Now, as we progressed, we got more comfortable, so we dug the remaining holes, and then we kind of went through. We put our tree in, we got her all leveled out. Then we would fill partially and move on to the next one. And then when we were finished with them all, we went back and made sure everything was all leveled out and nice. Now, one of the tips or tricks that we learned from the locals here um, that grow a lot of apple trees was to water the root systems down as we went. Now, I don't know if this is an actual thing or something they just do here. This is all new to us, um, but they've got some very healthy looking apple trees that they've all planted and have done this for years. So we went with their idea um, and we made sure that we watered the dirt down as we planted and then we watered after as well. Um, the reason they said to do this is because it washes the dirt underneath the root system really well so the dirt packs in around the roots and keeps them nice and moist. Um, and it sounded good to us, so we went with it. Uh, if you follow along, you're gonna know whether or not it worked. Once that was done, we watered them some more and I did go through and took pictures of every single tree and what type that it was. Um, so we have our records of what they look like and then we can take pictures, you know, at the halfway through the year mark, at a year, two years and so on and see the growth and document it. And now that that's done, um, the only thing we've really got left to do is to mulch around the trees. That way the soil stays nice and moist. Um, and then once that's done, we will fertilize them with a tree fertilizer. I'm not sure what we're going to use yet. Um, we're still kind of looking at our options, but we prefer organic. So we're trying to find the best fertilizer for the trees. 
If you like this video or you want to see how the trees turn out and all the other things that we're doing here on our land, make sure you subscribe and follow along. Um, and we'll also be posting videos with informational content um, so we can share our tips and tricks that we learn as we go. We hope you enjoyed the video and we hope to see you again soon.